What's going on guys, it's Adonis Flash. Episode two of season four is finally out. We're about to watch this right now. Let's get this reaction popping. Here we go. Now, if you guys are fans of The Flash, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you have that notification bell turned on so you don't miss any future content. So for those of you that don't know, I do reactions every week and some theory videos on the next episodes and maybe character stuff. So if you guys like that stuff, make sure you guys are subscribed. Let's go. Not only is this the most modern, lavish penthouse on the market, it also has one of the best views in all of Central City. Join me on the balcony, see for yourself. I couldn't care less about the view. Uh, is it your most expensive listing? Yes, but the price is negotiable. I'll take it. Yes. Why does it look like... Lock up and I'll ride down with you. Sorry. Not sure which button does what. It looks like Felicity's apartment, straight up. Oh, damn. Damn it. Dana? Yeah, listen, I think I'm in some busted elevator or something. Oh. I don't know. Oh. That's not good. Kilgore? Oh, damn. Yo. Yo, that's crazy. You know he did. Yo, his eyes look dope though, little square, square contacts. Dude, though. What? Whoa. <laughs> no. Huh? Barry. <laughs> hey. Huh? Hi. That extended sabbatical, but I'm back. I'm ready to work. And what can I say? It's a beautiful day. Sorry. What are we dealing with? Uh -huh. Well, I hope you had a light breakfast. No. Excuse me. Coming through. CCPD tech consultant. That's right. Look at the badge. That means it's official. <laughs> Look at the badge. Fellas, so sorry I'm late. The curls were not cooperating this morning. Stupid. Oh, good lord. Why would you show me that? You think this is because of some weird technical glitch and you're our weird tech expert? This completely ruins Racha for me. Hmm. <sighs> Yoink. That shouldn't be there. What is it? It's encrypted code. This wasn't a glitch. This was a hacker. So that dude got some meta hacking powers? That's pretty Before dope. Texas quantum algorithm should decrypt this code in no time. That should help us ID our new hacker. But while we wait, I got a little welcome back gift for you. Come, come. Walk with your boy. Come, Gather come. around, class. Kablam! <laughs> I mean, that was cool reveal and everything, but I've seen that suit. I've actually already worn it. Yeah, we all know you gave Barry suit a nice little fancy makeover. Yeah, but you don't know what you don't know. And underneath <laughs> all this red, beautiful, I've built in self-repairing armor, nano liquid circuitry, full spectrum scanning, and a whole bunch of other big words, chief among them. Your very own custom made HUD. This thing is loaded with maps, schematics, delivery menus. You know that high place you love? Sick. Yeah, we'll have to pass to you. You know how we Patsy do, dude? Stop <laughs> it. Awesome. Patsy do. Well, lucky for you. I even wrote you an instruction manual. Yay! <laughs> Yay! But you know, Barry and I have known each other since childhood. You know, we don't need therapy. <laughs> She's like, yeah. I mean, we're Barry and Iris, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Thanks, though. I mean, you know, I don't have anything against it. It's just you're Barry and Iris. Gotcha. <laughs> Unauthorized breach incoming. We gotta move. You ready? For anything. Was it HR? You got wells popping up? Hey. Hey. Hey, you 
to give me a little more notice next time? You know, people who don't want to kill us come through here, right? <laughs> oh, my bad, guys. Cisco, that was very heroic of you to just jump in and protect a gypsy like that. It's very impressive. Dude, uh I'm protecting you from her. She would have vaporized you guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's not lying. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> so, Fucking Wally. You almost ready for a day. She's a baddie, though. All right, Tesla, that's you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. You both need to get up there. That's one car. I got it. Yeah, but I, I can help you. <laughs> He's so much faster now, right? Okay, guys, it's a runaway. Driver's trapped inside. I'm gonna change his trajectory. Okay, then turn him left. There's a turn off for runaway trucks coming up. Can you just phase him out of the car? The car will come to a safe stop. Oh. No, 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 I'm gonna push that. him right. That street's empty. I can help him there. Barry, he can't go down that road. What? Why? Because they started construction on that street three months ago. No, 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 no. Phase. You gonna fucking break the car apart? Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, well, you made it sound so urgent on the phone. No. No, not urgent. I'm excited to dive in. Right? Oh, absolutely. I love therapy. Oh, have you been before? Just once, when I was a kid, after my mom died. Oh, your mom. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm not okay with it, obviously. I mean, I prefer that she was alive. I just meant that I've already dealt with it. So I don't think it's worth writing down. These notes are just for me. No one is judging you guys. Yes. <laughs> Except for you. Well, my dad died too. Us growing up together, and then um, I was engaged to someone else. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> worth a write down. <laughs> He's actually dead too. Oh, Two have had to deal with a lot of trauma. Well, no, I'm not a um, Eddie and Ronnie. I mean, a little. My mom, HR. Not too much. Laurel. So I'm sorry. We've been to a few. You know, so. <laughs> so, Barry. I guess now, yeah, we're just learning to. Get back in sync to sync up again. Sync up. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Well, there's no right or wrong, Barry. You know, like if they crash their car into a brick wall going 100 miles per hour. <laughs> she means emotionally. <laughs> Do I? Hey, Mama see ya. They don't make them like you anymore. What the hell? Easy. It's just the motherboard of the month, July of 07. Okay, Stop. Look at it. I wish it was a girl. Baby, it's been hours. Has there been any progress yet? No mention of Kurt Weaver or Tim Kwan or any connection between the two of them. Until now. Got him. Take note, people. It's only hoarding if it doesn't pay off. <laughs> okay, so that's Tim Kwan. That's Kurt Weaver. That's Sheila Agnani. Who's that guy? Ooh, sorry about that. So that was the group. It's definitely my fault. Huh. <laughs> Yo, what you doing in there, bro? What you about to do? Bomb squad. You gonna hack some bombs, bro? So, what would you say your goals are for this session? <laughs> uh, well, I just want to know that Barry here is my concerns about our issues of miscommunication. Uh, I gotta go. You gotta go? He's gotta go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, um... This was... Sorry. You're gonna write down that he ran out of you. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo. Yo. Yo, Barry is so fast right now, bro. So fast. Anybody okay? I don't know, it must have been a dud. Yo, he's so much faster. So confident in our ability to apprehend villains that we can have this debate, but hi, what about her? That's Sheila Ignani. She's like a big deal tech guru now. She could be next on Deacon's list. Oh, Sheila. <laughs> you think we can shut this guy down? Oh, nice one. Mm. Hi. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here, because I truly, deeply, from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry, but I'm gonna have to cancel our date. And if I blast me, can I at least pick the spot? <laughs> it's fine, Cisco. I get it. You get it? Yeah, what's not to get? You have to work, so we will cancel our date. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what a cool chick. She did that so well. No, no she didn't. When a girl says she gets it, what she really means is she doesn't get it at all. <laughs> I'm confused. Don't be. Very simple. You're my friend. Are in so much trouble. <laughs> you just had to fall for the girl and had to tell Black about the venue. Yep. Yes, yeah, you did. Back. <laughs> anyway, um, I didn't think canceling training was that big of a deal. Yeah, but you made all of those wedding plans too, and you didn't consult me. I was trying to be a good fiance. Yeah, but I think most brides would be happy that their future spouse cared about helping with the wedding. That is a good thing, right? Look, I don't know. I mean, I guess our wires have gotten crossed a few times the last few days, but I think that hardly rises to the level of a crisis. After everything we've been through together, you and me were Barry and Iris for the gold standard. I am so in Then how could you leave me? Mm. You left me, Barry. You just left me. Standing there alone. How could you do that? Damn. She on that video game swag. You got spy cam, bro? All the listening devices are in place. Keep your ears open. Oh, okay. Make sure she's safe. Kurt scrubbed any connection between us from the net, so as far as the world's concerned, we're innocent. But we're not. I should have never let you talk me into going along with this. And now Kurt's dead. Deacon killed him. He did not. Oh, yes. He did. Oh, shit. Oh, this is a nice house. How much did you pay for it? 10 mil? Hmm. Let's talk about this. We can make it right. Shut up, Tim. You could have had all this too. This all could have been yours. Kilgore was my idea. Or at MIT, or with any of you. Really? Hmm. And what was that? Power. <laughs> Power. Oh, well, you're not so diabetic, are you? Hmm. <laughs> Those new computer controlled insulin pumps are a real lifesaver. Oh, Way shit. too much insulin. Well, that can be lethal. Damn. I'm not gonna lie, though. He looks kind of weak, though. I'm not gonna lie. He, <laughs> he looks super whack. No sign of Deacon. Power. Power. Facial recognition, traffic cameras, nothing. Where were you two? Dry cleaners. Cleaners. <laughs> Wedding cleaners. <laughs> uh, Cisco. I'm in a doghouse. <laughs> Apparently, the pan dimensional. Doghouse. I don't know if this doghouse has a door or a window. If it did, I'd be jumping out of it. <laughs> but I'm just trying to do my job. I guess the word reschedule doesn't exist on Earth 19. Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that the reason you can't focus on the science is because you're so worried about what's going on with Gypsy. I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear anything you said, but I, I think I figured it out. I think 
I can't focus on anything because of this whole gypsy situation. I, I don't understand <laughs> what to talk to. What a great idea. <laughs> Stupid. Hey, so, you know what? Let's just forget about it. Because the day is already over, and I would really like to forget that I ever bought this. No, 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 no. I will not forget it, okay? You are important to me. And if 111 day is important to you, But it's like he doesn't know that he's a dead man. <laughs> See, that's what you don't get. When I put this ring on my finger, it wasn't just about you or me anymore. It was about us. You are not the Flash, Barry. We are. Bitch, you ain't got no powers. Guys, we need you. It's about Why is he lying? Damn, bro. Yo, what is he about to do? You have to pull us to the park? No, bro. You ever play Wishbone, Tim? You ever play Wishbone? Boy. He and the others destroyed my life. Listen, Yo. I know you feel wrong, Deacon. I smell technology in your suit. <laughs> what have you got in there? Oh, crap. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo! This dude got fucking Iron Man suit? This dude Iron Man now, bro? What? Barry, what's happening? It's Deacon. He's done something with my suit. Remote access complete. You put your voice in Barry's suit. Well, it had to be somebody. <laughs> my voice is soothing. How much tech did you put in the suit? So much. <laughs> I've actually always been a huge Flash fan this past couple of years. But this is like having a giant action figure. Oh, damn. Track me. He's locked me out of my own program. Do something. Uh, Barry, get away from him. <laughs> might lessen his technopathic hold over you. I can't. Who are you talking to? Someone listening in? Can't have that. Barry? Barry! His comms are offline. Damn. You have a defibrillator. How about I stop your heart? Damn, bro. Oh. <laughs> the Matrix? Hello? You have a collect call from... Guys, help me! <laughs> the suit's still freaking out. Well, get it off! <laughs> nope, I can't get it off. That would be the deadlock function. I built it in case he ever got knocked out so a bad guy wouldn't reveal his identity. It seemed like a smart idea at the time. Rotation <laughs> activated. <laughs> what? What? what the hell does he need a rat for, Cisco? He runs on water. He might lose his speed out there. What's he gonna do then? He might drown. You couldn't just put an oxygen <laughs> tank in the suit? That's he bad. might drown. <laughs> Bro, this is hilarious. Babel. What, what's Babel protocol? Why am I ticking? It's the self-destruct sequence. What? Self-destruct? Oh, I'm sorry. Have we not faced an evil version of Barry before? My mistake. Well, how do I stop it? Yo. Babel protocol, bro? That's a Batman reference, bros. You want him to do what? It might short the suit out, give him back control. Or it might set off the self-destruct early. Or it might stop his heart. Barry? Barry, you need to listen to me, okay? We can do this. Bitch, you can't just be saying shit. You ain't no scientist. No, I trust you, Iris. For you to actually have to throw lightning and get in front of it. Yo. Ya boy. <laughs> Such an ugly dude. <laughs> that dude is so ugly. Yo, Barry's so fast now, guys. This is crazy. Hello, gorgeous. She is a Here baddie. One, we celebrate one, one, one day today. Okay, Cisco, I see you, you bros. I had the particle accelerator explosion four years ago. You were 
living in Silicon Valley. So if you weren't here that night, how did you get your powers? Oh, wow. Oh, you're not going to believe it. It really was something, though. A real life changer. And do you two want to know the best part? I wasn't the only one. Mm. So good luck, gentlemen. I think Central City's about to have its hands full. You playing the piano? The thinker's on the piano right now? One of my childhood favorites. Schubert's Unfinished Eighth Symphony. Unfinished until now. He didn't. It was surprisingly simple to extrapolate the remaining movements once I familiarized myself with the body of his work. All 600 of his works. I woke up early this morning. Huh. <laughs> You have an update. So if one has been located, he's safe. Locked up in the metahuman wing at Iron Heights as we speak. He's right where you wanted him. What do we do now? Now we find the others. Bruh. I already like where this is going, guys, like to actually see the thinker planning from day one of the series is so dope to see. I find, I want to know if there's ever going to be like when when the episode is going to be mainly him, but that'll probably probably be in the second half of the season. But man, what a cool episode. It wasn't like super action packed. It was it seemed like it was really story development heavy, obviously, with Iris and Barry. And even Cisco and Gypsy were doing kind of the same thing. Very communication-based episode, which was cool, uh, considering the fact that the villain was all tech-related and communicating and all this stuff with other pieces of technology. So I thought the the cohesiveness of the story was actually really awesome. Even still, like, Kilgore was... He just didn't seem... I don't know, like... A, he didn't seem cool enough, I guess? I don't know. He just seemed, like, super corny, to be completely honest with you. Like, I wasn't really digging him as a character. I thought his power was really cool. And we found out at the very end, though, that your boy had other people. He wasn't the only one. So I thought that was really interesting that these are created metas. And I wonder if the thinker had anything to do with this. Maybe he, you know, got everybody in a certain room and they got injected by something or something. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems like he is now orchestrating where he wants these people at, but he has to locate where they are. So there's a lot of cool things there. Or maybe he just heard about these people and now he's trying to place them in certain areas of the city. Really interesting though that the thinker is that far ahead. And he was talking about this symphony at the very end. The dude said, oh yeah, I woke up this morning. He went through over 600 bodies of work to understand how this guy's core progressions were and all that to figure out what the rest of this symphony was going to be. That was pretty crazy. But yeah, but one of the things that really stood out to me, though, to be completely honest, was actually Barry's suit. It was interesting because it seemed like they turned him into Iron Man low-key. Like, he had a HUD. Um, he had some kind of, like, plasma cannon that popped out of his hand. I was like, uh, not really 100% sure if I dig that at all. It's just, it was just, I wonder if he's going to keep any of this tech inside the suit for the remainder of the series, or is it just kind of like a one-time thing we're going to see? Um, one of the cool things that I saw, obviously, with his HUD, it reminded you of Bart Allen's kind of like goggle color. I thought that was really cool. Um, that was really interesting to me. Um, but the the crazy part, though, was the Babel Protocol. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Babel Protocol, Batman put a contingency plan together to kill everybody in the Justice League since he isn't... He's not a meta. He's not a superhuman. So he had a plan to literally take out everybody in the Justice League just in case. Um, so that was cool that that was a reference in this. That was so dope to see. That's so cool. But I want to know your guys' thoughts on this episode. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts were and what your predictions are for episode three. Also, let me know what you guys thought about Barry's suit. Did you think it was cool that he had all this extra tech built into his suit or do you think it took away from Barry being Barry? I thought it was a little bit too Iron Man-esque for me. But... You know, that's just my preference. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys are subscribed. Have that notification bell turned on so you don't miss any future content. I will be doing a couple of Flash videos. Uh, another one will be posted later tonight or early tomorrow morning if you're in the States. Um, and I will be posting another one throughout the week. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. If you guys like the video, 
hit that thumbs up button, show your boy some love. And if you want to check out my last video, the link will be right here to the side. All right, guys, till next time. See you later.